So my name is Colleen Magnus. I am a demonstrator on the East Coast of Virginia, and I come to you live every Wednesday at noontime so that you can take a break from your busy day. We can have lunch together, and we can um, I can share some creativity. So I'll give everybody just a minute to come on. Oh, Lee is traveling. She's in the Atlanta airport. Good for you, Lee. Where are you going? Um, God willing, I will be going to Maui next Wednesday for the Stampin' Up! trip that we missed last year in 2020. And I'm excited about it, but boy, are there a lot of things you have to do to travel to Maui. <clears throat> you have to get a negative COVID test before you go. You have to upload it here, download it there. You have to put it everywhere, but I have my instructions and I am so going to enjoy my time. Hey, Lynn, glad you are with us. Um, hello, Gwen. So Lee's coming home from Florida. Well, safe travels, Lee. We'll pray home and uh, that everything will go well at the airport. Hello, Janet. So glad you could join. I am actually sharing with you today the stamp set that I lost last Wednesday. Um, I was all ready to go. As long as I have my idea before I go to bed, I can put it together in the morning. I love my Wednesday mornings. And lo and behold, <clears throat> I could not find this stamp set. I was freaking out because I needed it to create and show you all. So kind of did a change of plans and I think it worked out well because with the new catalog, you all have seen the new catalog, right? Just started yesterday. My order will be here tomorrow and I am so excited. You would think it was Christmas at the Magnus home. Um, but I can actually show you the inside now too. Look at that. We have pansy petals. Um, we just, there are so many things in here if you like in the wild. If you don't have a catalog, let me know. But this is my favorite. This is what I am waiting on tomorrow. It is called You're a Peach Sweet. And I love it because it's the distinctive Stampin', which you all know I am such a huge fan of. The designer paper is gorgeous. And I will be creating tomorrow afternoon with this. But if you don't have a new annual catalog, please private message me so I can make sure we get one in your hands. But this set here that I was gonna create with is actually called Lots of Heart. And that's, this is on page 15 in the January through June catalog. And I love this set right from the start because it didn't scream Valentine's. I mean, hearts are great, but we always think of Valentine's. So, you know, you just, I wanted something else. In fact, when I saw this, this to me said country. And I did a little country card I'm gonna share with you. Um, in fact, let me do that now. Let's just jump right in. So the products that, uh, this again, stamp set I'm using here is lots of heart. So this was the country card I made. And to me, nothing screams country other than cherry cobbler and crumb cake. So these are one of the dies. Again, I love the little checkerboard heart and you open it up and it says, my heart smiles just thinking about you. So when I saw this set, again, I didn't think Valentine's, I thought friendship, I thought birthdays, Mother's, Mother's Day, it could be anything you want, just a little note. How many of us just need that card or that notepad to stamp some that says just a little note? So here is a stamp set. Now let me show you how easy it is to lose it. I had it opened, and when I create, I'm sure when you create, everything is very neat and in its place. But when I create, it looks like a bomb went off. And in fact, the more paper on the floor, the happier I am, because that means I was extremely productive. So as I was cleaning up, I remembered I had my gold foil sheets and everything's all over the place and blah, blah, blah. And I'm sure it was on something and it was gone. So I clean up, I put all my, designer paper back, I put everything in its place, and for about nine hours, I could not find that stamp set. Well, guess where it was? It was on the back of this paper right here, of, of you know, because these are the cling stamps, and they do just, I'm sorry, these aren't cling stamps, these are the photopolymer, but they cling just as well as the other ones. So finally, about 10 o'clock at night, I was racking my brain, because I knew it was in this room somewhere, and I went through everything I had and there it was. But let me show you what Stampin' Up! is doing that I love, love, love. Um, in the new sets, this is hand-penned. I've created with this before and you certainly haven't seen the last of it. But on the hand-penned set in the new photopolymer, Stampin' Up! is actually printing the images 
on the back piece of the, um, whatever you want to call this, the outside. So what's nice is I don't have to try to keep up with a separate plastic piece. I can just stick them right in my box and thankfully this isn't going to stick to anything. So thankfully the, uh, the chances of this happening again have seriously dropped and I think I'm even going to take this image to the back and start putting them inside my case. But I love that change that Stampin' Up! has made. So going back to the Lots of Hearts, you have this adorable stamp set and then you have amazing dies. Now you talk about some dies, look at all the things that you can cut out from the coordinating die set. So again, this is that border, which is adorable. You have a little bird and I see I've lost his wing, but you're gonna see it in my project. You have a wing, you have all these hearts, you all these hearts. And what's nice is like these hearts here, they're all on one die. So you can cut all these out at one time. Um, these little four guys here, that's one die. And then same with the flowers. And then of course you have, you can stamp, the ones that match the stamped images are these two hearts and those flowers. But I mean, you have X's and O's, actually, excuse me, X's and hearts for your X's and O's, but just a really nice set. And then what I love is that this piece here, that can go on top of your hearts, which I'm gonna show you. So that gives a really nice outline. That's why I used the foil sheets and then decided not to use them and put them up. And then you also have this beautiful floral piece here. And again, that can layer on all the different hearts. So I just think it's really a very versatile die set, um, very versatile bundle. And again, that is in, on page 15 from the January through June catalog. And it did not carry over into the new catalog, so you were gonna wanna get it before then. Now the other products I'm using in the um, gift card holder that I'm gonna show you, those are on page 19. And although I did not purchase the hydrangea set, um, although many people have and they absolutely love it, I loved all the products that go with this. So in my, on my gift card, again, that's page 19, um, I did not make a paper sampler because I used completely two of the, the sheets, but this is what some of the designer paper looks like. You have this beautiful variegated, um, uh, well, I can't think of the name of it. Anyway, variegated paper. Then you have this on the back. You can tell these were the two sheets I'm using in my um, gift card. Use the most. Now this paper here is great. This would be great for scrapbooking, but also for making cards because you would get six cards out of this sheet of designer paper because you can cut it in half and then cut it in four. So you have five and a quarter by four. Layer that on a piece of cardstock, st uh, stamp a sentiment, and you have your card already done. That is the back side. Let me put these here. Here's another one. So the paper is gorgeous. Really, really is. I mean, it just does all the work for you. Here's another one. And I'm not sure because I don't have the dies, but it wouldn't surprise me if these could be uh, punched out with the dies that coordinate with it. And then you have this sheet here. Hey, Barb. Hi, Tracy. So glad you could join us. Oh good, Tracy's semester is over, so she is here for the whole time. She doesn't have to run back to class. And Barb, you have been in my prayers. Barb um, is in one of my stamp clubs and fell and broke her wrist in two places. So Barb, I have been praying for you and just know I will be your surrogate stamper when you come to stamp club. Friends always get by with friends. Now these here are the Hydrangea Hill, um, um, excuse me, let me see right here, the pastel pearls. You can't really see these in the package, so let me take them out. But just true Stampin' Up! style, everything coordinates. So when you put these here, you could just see how pretty these are, and they made a really nice addition to the card. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. Again, this was the country look with the crumb cake and the cherry cobbler. I just, I had to make this card, but see how that outside heart, I could frame it in the crumb cake? 
Put it right on there. And then the card that we are gonna to make together today is a gift card. And again, especially if you love the purples in here, you're definitely gonna love this. So I have, it's driving me nuts. I cannot think of the name of that ink pad. I have it right here, excuse me. Highland Heather, Highland Heather. And I knew that. Highland Heather and Gorgeous Grape are the colors of, of ink that I'm using. So with this, it says you're all heart. There's that adorable little bird. And then when you open it up, this is where your gift card goes. So this again would be great for a Mother's Day, for a birthday, any, you know, even just a thank you. Everybody loves a Starbucks coffee or a little trip to Target. You can put a little card in there. So let's get started. What I have here, these are um, the dimensions. You have a piece of Highland Heather. And when I give you dimensions, just if you haven't noticed, I always give the horizontal measurement first and then the vertical. So I try to stay consistent in that. And um, so when I list them on here, that's what you see. So this is 11 by four and a quarter. Then I scored it at two and a half and five and a half. For the inside piece, I have the five and a quarter by four. And then this piece is gonna go along the side there. This is two and a half by four. And then for this little front layering here, you really don't see a lot of the gorgeous grape, but it just set the colors off in this designer paper, and it, it was a must have. We had to do it. So that was three and three quarters by four. And then the designer paper that goes on top is gonna to be two and five eighths by three and seven eighths. And then the pieces, I've already cut them, just to kind of keep it simple. But here is that gorgeous heart from the dies that is scalloped. So this is in gorgeous grape. My little bird, and there's his wing. That is in crumb cake. I guess I'll put them here in case you're gonna take a picture. Uh, just for the ease of it, I went ahead and stamped this already. But this is Highland Heather heart, the beautiful swirly heart. Then I just have the little outline in white. And I'm gonna show you a trick with the bird's eyes. So you just need a little scrap of black paper. So those are all the parts, and I will take a picture of these parts and put them right here on the Facebook page um, or even on my blog. So please visit that too. But what you're gonna do first is you're gonna take the card base, the 11 by four and a quarter card base, and as I said, it's scored at two and a half and five and a half. It's going to get folded like a card, and then that's gonna fold inside. So you want to put a little notch here so that they can easily get their gift card out. So I'm gonna use the tailored tag punch, and I'm just gonna come in here about halfway and punch that. And again, make sure you are punched on the small side, not the big side. That would not work very well. So now again, I'm just gonna fold this in half. I don't have my bone folder, so let me use my blend dual purposes here. And you want to go ahead and glue this down, but only on the sides. And when I do that, I like to use the liquid glue. This way I can get a thin line and it's not as fat as the adhesive. And of course it never ever takes much, which is a good thing. There we go. Okay. So I'll just shut this and give it a couple seconds. That's what I love about the Tombow liquid glue is that it really does dry quick. It's nice and tacky too. Use it for a lot of things. So that is pretty much our card base like that. Next I'm going to, I'll do the inside here first. So again, I have the five and a quarter by four Whisper White. Piece on there from my post-it note. That's all right, it could be the back side. Then I have the um, two and a half by four designer paper, and I'm gonna go ahead and stamp these. So first I'll take all my words that I'm stamping and the flowers are gonna be in gorgeous grape. Hey, Stacy, I'm glad you could join us today. I'm gonna take your all heart, and you just kinda wanna put that down on the bottom right. 
And actually I was stamping dangerously. This is kind of flat, so it stamps pretty good. But really when you are stamping with photopolymer, you should have a little something underneath. Uh, this little piercing mat works great. If you have a piece of fun foam, that works great, but uh, it, it doesn't give. You know, it's photopolymer is a harder type rubber and it doesn't give, so it's great to have a little bit of a pattern. And here I'll stamp my heart smiles just thinking about you. I don't have my head right under there, so hopefully it'll be straight enough. It's gonna have to be. And then these cute little flowers. And I'm just gonna put those down at the bottom. So here I will take the designer paper and I'll line these up right on the side there. Okay. Sometimes if it's a little bit of an edge there, y'all know that would drive me crazy. So let me grab my scissors and I will just trim that off. I just want to be nice and smooth. That little curly cue, see? That would have kept me up at night. Can't have that. Now I'm going to take this and I will place it inside my card. And on these flowers here, I just took the um, Daffodil Delight, the dark blends, and I colored the centers in. And then what was really cool is if you take a wink of Stella, which we all love, since I can't use my champagne shimmer paint anymore, is I'll take the wink of Stella and I'm just going to color it in here. But what's nice is since this ink is a water-based ink, if it gets a little bit wet, you can pull that color in. So instead of having little white daisies, I have these gorgeous, very soft Highland Heather flowers. And then that leaves my sparkle in there. Let me hold that up so you can see that. So hopefully you can see it without a shadow. But again, with the Wink of Stella, you can pull that color in since it's a water base and it's even softer. It's not stark white anymore, but it really, really just adds a little something. So now what I'm going to do is I will work on my heart. So on the heart here, these two pieces, again, three and three quarters by four is my gorgeous grape. Two and five eighths by three and seven eighths is my designer paper, and they are gorgeous together. And since there is such a close edge on this, I tend to like to use my liquid glue because I can move that around a little bit. Our stamp and seal is awesome, but it is so strong, it's gonna you know, stay where you put it. And the designer paper being thinner, I don't want to take any chances on that. But with this, I can always lay it down, move it around, and then it'll stay very strong because that's my great liquid glue. So I have these two together. And I will go ahead and put this on the front. And I'm just going to center it on this side flat. Now for my heart, got this right here. For my heart, I'm going to put this again, this on here. I almost don't have to because I got that pretty close, but I just think that's flat. I wanted something to finish that off. So one of the things I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take my craft and rubber mat so my adhesive doesn't stick to it, and I'm just gonna tap this in a couple places, but ultimately, that will hold it in place. But ultimately, again, I am one for my liquid glue. And I've got a light hand, so I'm just gonna tack it in here knowing it's gonna hold it really tight. And I'll pick my heart up, see? And then I will just layer this right on top. Bit of my adhesive right there. Again, so the um, this adhesive here, the stamp and seal, 
holds this in place and the liquid glue is gonna hold it for the long haul. Just have a little adhesive remover here because I got a little gummy on there. Don't want no boogies on my heart. That's what it looks like and that's what everybody will accuse you of. Okay, so that is your sweet little heart. And with this, I want to again get some dimension. So I'm going to pop it up. Oh, look at that. You could tell I stamped on the other side and didn't like it. That's a pretty side. That's what I love about a card. You get two chances. You've got a front and a back to get it right. And oftentimes I tell people, I said, man, it's like you got two cards in one. I stamped both sides of everything. That's the beauty of it. So here I have my heart. I will place that in the center, like so. Now for my bird, I don't know. I always say it's probably because when I was a kid, one of the first scary movies I ever watched was Alfred Hitchcock, The Birds, and it really freaked me out. But a lot of times when people use birds on the cars, they'll put like a rhinestone for the eye. And again, I feel like that's a, a sometimes it looks like a bug eye and he's just really staring at me. Um, so I'm going to show you a trick to fixing that. But first, to make him stand out, this is Sahara Sand cardstock, and I'm just going to sponge around his body with a little bit of crumb cake. I just don't want that color to be too flat. Little moving parts here. Okay. Now for that eye, I do want it to have some color, but all I do is I'll just take a piece of black cardstock. Doesn't have to be pretty. Then I will take the bird, put a little bit of adhesive on the back. Oops, get over here. And then just take this and put it over that hole. So again, when I tell you it doesn't have to be pretty, it doesn't. It just can't stick out the side. But what that does is it gives your bird a little black eye, not one of those rhinestone bug eyes. And he looks so much more natural. So now I'm going to take one of our little mini dimensionals and put that under the wing. Oops, stuck it out a little bit. Easier just to cut it. So I have the wing here. And then I'll put another one underneath. Because I really want him to be popping up. Right there. Now when you put it on your gift card, make sure you don't put adhesive on all the back. You only want it on the left side because that's where, what it's gonna to stick to. So just put your heart like so, right in the center. And then you're gonna take one of the gorgeous pastel pearls. And I love them because it's like a really um, pearly color here. It's, a, it's not just a white, it's got kind of a light gray uh, color to it. Then you have this beautiful peachy color. Let me see if they give you them on the back. And then, of course, gorgeous grape. So with that, I'm just gonna take one of the gorgeous grapes, pull that purple in again. And it just accents it, perfect. So let me show you. So this is the You're All Heart. Oh no, look, I didn't put my tape up there. And that is a gift card holder. So keep in mind, Mother's Day is next Sunday. I couldn't believe it. Of course, I can't believe how quick time goes anyways. But Mother's Day is next Sunday. So this might be a nice little gift card that you could give to your mom or that special someone. So now don't forget, with the new catalog, let me show you a couple things. With the new catalog, um, with Stampin' Up, you can host a party, you can collect orders from your friends. And when your orders reach $250, well, then you get an extra $25 in product. So with a simple $250 order that you've collected or you've actually put in yourself, let's be real here, um, you get an extra $25, so you'll get $50 in free product. The other thing Stampin' Up! has, it's called Join Plus. 
So as you're looking through this catalog and your wish list gets over $100, you just may want to think of joining Stampin' Up. I did an entire video on that last week if you want to see all the benefits to you. But it's great because you can purchase a starter kit. You select $155 in product, and that can be from this catalog. And then also you can combine it with that heart set from the mini catalog. And then you only pay $99 with no shipping and handling. So there's never an opportunity, you know, you don't have to purchase anything else, but if you do, you're gonna save 20% on everything you purchase. So you might wanna think of that if your wish list is really long. And of course, I am here to help you in all ways, um, whether it's to show you orders, to create. I have a wonderful group of stampers underneath me, with me that create my family. And we do a lot of things on Facebook and through Zoom. In fact, one just popped on. Hey, Hazel, how are you doing? We were just wrapping up, so you might have to go back and watch the beginning. Uh, but this is what we've created today, Hazel. Again, love this bundle. The bundle is called Lots of Hearts. And if you gals have any questions at all, please let me know. I appreciate you joining me here for lunch today. It is a gorgeous day in Chesapeake, and I will be getting out in it shortly. So let's see, Gwen says uh, she needs a graduation card. Excellent, excellent. This will be a wonderful pattern for your graduation card. And congratulations to your graduate. So Tracy, I'm glad you love the gift card holder. And again, I hope you will join me next week. It is the week before I go out of town, so I do plan on being here. And um, I always love spending my lunch with you. So until then, again, I'm here if there's anything I can do for you. And if not, I look forward to seeing you next Wednesday at noon as we have another creative lunch together. Thanks so much, and you all enjoy the day. Bye-bye.